Hey everybody, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and welcome to our channel. We have a new tool to show you guys today. A tool we bought, a tool we saw, we decided we wanted to get, mm -hmm. and we got. So come along as we test it out. So the new tool we have is a cordless hedge trimmer. It is Craftsman name brand, which is the same brand as all my tools. And it is cordless and uses the same battery as all my tools. So might as well keep getting tools like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so you're my wife. You have heard this, uh, we'll say sales pitch. What is a tool ecosystem and why did we get a Craftsman cordless tool? What? <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, so I may have overestimated the amount of tool knowledge I've forced upon you over talking and yakking. Then again, I think it shows you might be tuning me out on tool talk. No, never. <laughs> okay, so let me rephrase it because tool ecosystem is kind of a, well, it's Fancy a term. $5 word, maybe. What's the benefit of getting the same name and style tool that my cordless tools already have? because the batteries all work on the same tools. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about having five different batteries that go to five different tools and you can't intermingle. There you go, you got it. That is the definition of a tool ecosystem. A lot of tool manufacturers nowadays are going with that kind of idea, knowing that once they have you hooked on the first couple of tools with batteries, you're probably gonna buy their same brand because you've already got your batteries smart because it's exactly what we're doing it is <laughs> this thing is all assembled not that it really takes that much assembly you just attach the two handle pieces together plug up your battery charge it if need be and you're ready to go as far as operation it's pretty easy there is a safety trigger here it's for your thumb you want to pull it back and then you pull the trigger and you hold it there is no trigger lock on this you can't set it to where it just runs all the time that's okay kind of a safety feature you don't want to be letting this thing running willy-nilly on you so just in mind if in case you're looking for one that you can kind of set and forget this is not the kind of tool for you another really cool feature about this tool is that the head tilts it is articulating it goes a good 90 degrees this way and 90 degrees that way so you have 180 degrees of movement you are locked in with I believe I want to say 45 degree stops so that's a stop here there and there so that's pretty cool i already have a lot of craftsman cordless tools of the exact same battery type which probably really swayed my decision to get this particular model but it's also nice because i have plenty of batteries charged up ready to go what i have stuck in here is the same size battery that you'll get with the kit it's the two amp hour v20 or 20 volt battery it doesn't look like much on the tool it looks kind of dinky but it's what you get, so let's give this thing a test and really see how far you get with the little two amp hour battery and how much damage you can do. Comes with a nice plastic blade guard. It's durable. Hand that to the assistant man there. And let's see, I may want to adjust it just a little bit more. All right. So here's why we really bought this thing. A brush cutter of sorts. A sickle bar. A weed mower. Watch.
So a little unconventional reason to purchase a hedge trimmer, but for us, it seems pretty cool. Now, that being said, I've literally only used it 30 seconds. So let's see if we can do some damage on the old chicken coop that we've been working on cleaning up to get rid of and reclaim as grassy area. Okay, who else wants to have fun? I have to say, this goes through stuff as big around as your finger. If it can fit in there, it cuts it off. It's very helpful when you get in with the briars and stuff like that, like we have on this fence line right here. So, I have a lot of work ahead of me. What do you think about the weight? <laughs> it is a little bit heavy, but I think with like a harness or something, it would help a lot. One thing I definitely like about the battery tools is that they're quiet. When she's not cutting, it's silent. That and there's no fumes, there's no things to mix or fuel to have. Mess <laughs> yeah, mess up. I do like that for sure. I know the battery life's, you know, your, your runtime is always questionable, but I think with modern lithium batteries, you're gonna have the tool outlast you. Especially this kind of work with that head, that cutter head being pretty heavy. Um, I did read a review that said that the the cutter outlasts them so like <laughs> makes yeah. sense i could see that definitely happening <laughs> especially if you're putting your arms up like i am <laughs> yeah definitely but you were making quick work of this hedge so yes, i mean i said earlier so. we don't have hedges uh, okay we got fence lines here to trim the neighbor's weeds on so or i guess hedges i don't know what that's called guys that stuff hacking it down Down here at our driveway is another spot that we were thinking of whenever we bought this tool. We have a gravel driveway and it's cut into the side of our hill that our home is on top of. There is always grass right up here next to the sheep fence that goes amok and it's kind of difficult to weed eat it. We don't try and keep this perfectly manicured like a golf course, but it is nice to be able to see things and not have bushes and weeds growing over your cars as you're driving up. So this is an area where we wanted to test out the hedge trimmer because this is one of the spots that we thought, you know what, this tool might be pretty useful for this. So let's give it a shot. Hey, that's a win for me in my book. Now you might be looking at this thinking, I can weed eat that a whole lot faster. That's true, you probably could. But for me, I have discovered through allergy testing, I'm allergic to just about every weed and grass, tree pollen, and everything in this world. Doing something like this with this tool 
it doesn't cause a dust it doesn't aerosol everything and make it go crazy so maybe there's hope that i can do this kind of outdoor work that i like to do without you know later being able to see or breathe or whatever I gotta say, any tool that really allows an eight-year-old to really step up and do some yard work while still being safe is worth it in our book. Previous to this, he would use my Echo two-cycle weed eater, and he did fine with that, but if you've ever used a gas string trimmer or a weed eater, as we call them, you know those things will beat you in the legs, they'll throw grass in your eyes, and you just don't have that concern with a tool such as this. A hedge trimmer like this is really nothing more than scissor action. It doesn't fling and throw things. So it's not throwing any grass on anybody and it's really a piece of cake to use. The biggest drawback is the weight of that trimmer head. It is very heavy. So it's definitely an upper body workout and one that you wanna take a few breaks here and there between. Either way, we're still running off that same battery. It's a two amp hour battery. We have done everything you've seen plus more off camera. We have probably done the equivalent of, I wanna say about 300 linear feet of really tall grass and weeds, and it's still got plenty of juice left and is about to outwork all three of us. So in that case, I don't think there's really a need to upgrade your battery from the two amp hour, unless you are just in beast mode or you have a ton of hedges, or maybe you're doing this professionally and you're looking for a nice affordable battery hedge trimmer for your operation. I'd recommend this one. It's good. All right, here's some of my honest thoughts. Who probably should not get this? Okay, if you are looking for a weed eater or something to trim your grass around your lawn, this is not the tool for you. If you're looking to do acres and acres and acres, this is not the tool for you. If you're looking to get one of these and maybe cut some hay or use it as a powered scythe, this is probably not the tool for you. All right, that being said, why in the world do we get it? Are we just tool addicts and can't help ourselves and have to get every single tool under the sun? Well, yes, but <laughs> well, maybe. We also seriously had the idea of that tool would be good to sculpt this driveway and it's done very well. And like I said earlier, with my allergies to grass and weeds and trees, as little pollen as can be stirred up as possible is great. Now that being said, I've sneezed once or twice while we're out here filming this, but I've also been traipsing around things and, well, I just really can't avoid it. But having a tool that does not aerosolize, fling it, throw it, and just force you to inhale every part of the plant is helpful. Now, this thing is not fast. It is actually pretty slow. So it's one of those things where you have to take your time. If it is extremely tall weeds like we're dealing with, it will get clogged up easily. So you gotta every once in a while stop, kind of brush it away, clear it away. If you were using this for a large area and you had the luxury of someone here to help you, get that person a rake and tell them as you cut to kind of clean it out. So you keep your area clean and you can go back and do second cuts. That being said, I don't regret buying it, but I'll make sure we check in with Angela and see if she regrets buying it. So I love this hedge clipper. It's really easy, a lot easier than the weed eater. You don't get jerked around a lot at all and it's just really easy. Is it pretty heavy though? A little bit heavy. Same as weed eater pretty much. The weed eater I get covered in grass and everything. No grass.
at this point I don't yet have all the Craftsman cordless tools they make, but a man's got to have dreams and something to live for, right? It's his collection. That's right. Craftsman, <laughs> if you're watching, will you come on and sponsor us already? I mean, we've bought a lot of your tools and we show them in our videos. So, please sponsor me and her. She uses them too. I do. Okay, oh. so what are your pros and cons of the tool? Just the limited use you had it. What are your pros and cons? Pros, um, it's easy to use. Mm -hmm. and it has a good reach on it so you can use it as like a weed eater type thing mm -hmm. um, and it reaches really high for tall hedges bushes whatever um, it is a little on the heavy side um, whenever you're trying to especially lift it up for a while to do higher things it can really start getting on you yeah it's not super well balanced because of the motor at the cutter end and the blades and on the other end of the pole, you've just got that little battery. So, I mean, I don't know that you could really balance a tool like that very well. Not really. And I mean, maybe, you know, I bet it's a brushed motor. I bet if they put a brushless motor in there, it would be lighter weight too. So, Craftsman, again, if you're watching this, we're giving you tool development ideas. Sponsor us. <laughs> but I would say it is very well made. It seems like it's pretty beefing. Yeah. I've been pleased so, with all the tools, uh, Craftsman tools we've bought. So, and we have a lot more use here that we can use it for um, and in the future. So, definitely. I'm very happy with it. Me too. Good purchase. Yes, I agree. Win. Win win. Yay. <laughs> well, guys, hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully, you got to see us do something outside. There's been several of you asking about us. Are you ever getting out of your home renovation? Are you ever doing anything outdoors? Here you go. A little bit of sweat video for you. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can let us know. Hey, tools aren't my thing. The comments and the thumbs, whether they're up or down, all help us on YouTube anyway. It's viewed as engagement and YouTube says, hey, some people are doing something on this video. We should show other people. Maybe they'll do stuff too. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment below. We love to read them, and we'll see you next time on the homestead. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Whoops. Do the area over there, over the fence. No, you're making me work too much. You take a turn. Okay. Jeez. What do you guys think of it? It's awesome. awesome. I'll probably end up using it a little bit. Say what? I'll probably use it just a little bit. You want to have a turn, Dick? Um, maybe. Maybe down there. I definitely agree with whoever said online that this tool lasts longer than you do, because... Yep. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to our channel, just like you said. Whoops. Some people are doing something on this video. We should show other people. Maybe they'll do stuff too. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm, to do that again, I was making a, a poop face. Oh, come on. Do your normal outro. I like your normal outro. Well, guys, thanks Hang for- Hang on, wait. Oh. Come on. Okay, no. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment below. We love to read them, and we'll see you next time on the homestead. See ya. Bye. Being abused off camera. <laughs>